Hello and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play World of Tanks. And today I'm in the uh, SU-85B. Uh, I believe this is my first recorded game in it. I've done a few upgrades to it. Nothing on the gun yet. It's still using the 76mm though. So, it works. It certainly is no uh, 85mm. Oh man, way too high. This thing has no... Of course I'm not covering a tree thing has little to no downward traverse on it, so I really gotta be careful of where I am and where I'm aiming, because I cannot aim downward at all. I can only aim up. So, beneficial if I'm like at the bottom of the hill, but totally not good if I'm anywhere else. So, I have hinted at this in my last video, and maybe if anyone was reading the comments, I might have posted something to the fact, but I have effectively hit what I would call, in terms of uh, certain different aspects in life, the wall. So, what is the wall, you ask? Well, in some terms it's a uh, impassable force that you have to either work through, work around, or figure out how to deal with. In terms of this game, we are to the point where I need to accumulate somewhere around, oh, 700, 700, 700, so... 21, so 2.1 million credits in order to upgrade three tanks that I have that need to be upgraded. So, uh, needless to say, it might might be a while before I get into a new tank. Especially counting if I want to upgrade the cruise at all. So, with that said, I'm going to discuss the different options you have with which to accumulate money. And the best Best ones I could come up with, at least. I'm gonna try and nail this little guy. Oh! Caught him by surprise. Come on now. Aw. Oh, 3%. He's not moving, though. There we go. So, yes. Well, there's... Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. There's always the option of... Uh... Trading gold for... Gold for credits. Not not the best idea at all. Oh no. But it it works if I had a lot of disposable income with which to uh, waste doing so. But I, I don't feel like dropping quite a lot of uh, my personal cash to do so. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. Okay, so we're here in my Stug, which uh, thanks to the five times experience, I was able to upgrade pretty much everything before I had a chance to actually re, uh, record it. So I'm using the long barrel. Everything's upgraded on it. It's just now burning the uh, 30,000 experience up to the Jagdpanzer IV. So, sorry about not getting to it earlier. Um, yeah, so, continuing the discussion about credits and farming them. The purchasing a gold and converting it to actual silver credits, while you can do it and there's nothing wrong with it by any means. I mean, some people might call you a wallet warrior, especially if you were to buy a low or whatnot. Um, it, uh, I just, I can't support that sort of lifestyle, I guess. I mean, I have other expenses in life that would, uh, take priority, I guess you could say. So, in the meantime, we will actually farm for credits the hard way. Now, how do you go about farming for credits? Well, there's... I've touched on this in previ <laughs> previous videos. And one of which is to get a premium tank, such as a low, which is an excellent choice. Thanks to these two numbskulls running around me. I'm right here! Move! Well, I'm invisible to you too. Yeah, so... One of the options is, of course, to buy a low. Or... If you wanted to be a lower tier, the Ram 2, which is an excellent tank, mind you. And, uh, farm credits by using them exclusively. They earn, I believe it's one and a half times credits? On top of the one and a half times credits you earn normally in terms of, uh, being a premier, or premium account, like I have. But, in terms of, uh, those of us who don't want to be paying out the cash in order to buy these premium tanks, there's a few other options we have. First off, well, primarily the only option is either you play for free and thus earn normal amount of credits, or you play for uh, a premium account, 
like I have, which is uh, it's about twelve dollars a month. It's not that bad. So that I that I can stomach. That's not a big deal. But with that, you get one and a half times credit and one and a half times experience. So, what does that mean in terms of a uh, credit farming experience? Well, that one didn't oh, that's, go through. that's not good. I think I just upset him. I don't know what I did. Yeah, so one and a half times experience. Uh, Got him. Nice. One and a half times experience and credits does help out a lot. Now, how do you earn credits per game? Well, you earn a certain amount of credits Critical based hit. on your uh, participation, actually being in the game, based on your uh, your hits, your damage, and your kills, and also Enemy your hit. taps. So, actually, it's more, <laughs> more advantageous to go... Oh, no! No! We've cool. I did. How did I destroy him? Anyway, so it's more that advantageous to actually through. capture the enemy base as opposed to sitting here and killing everyone, because you actually yeah, are given a purse per se for a capture, and anyone participating in the capture is going to earn a uh, percentage of that port. Oh man, that guy's mad. A percentage of that purse. So. As these guys capture the base, they're going to earn whatever that purse is. I don't know the exact amount, but they're going to certainly earn it. So, I'm actually going to get ding for killing my teammate. You see, nothing. I don't know how I killed him. That was, that was silly. Okay, so what did we learn in that last game? Don't shoot your teammates, or if they're anywhere near where your shot may be, don't shoot. Because chances are, it's going to hit them. And you're gonna kill them, and you're gonna get no experience, no credits, and you're just gonna pay for your repairs. So, with that said, let's not do it again. Anywho, I do apologize for that guy. I'm. Oh, it's so disappointing. I totally didn't mean to hit him, but it is what it is. So, in terms of a normal battle, how do you earn credits? Well, you get payment for the battle. And that is actually determined by a variable X, which is, I don't know exactly what determines that variable, but it's your uh, X times the tank tier. Oh no. For the, there we go. Enemy vehicle destroyed. I need to back up. I'm caught in the open. It's X times the tank tier for the defeat we or a tie, the or for a victory, it's 1.85 X times the tank tier for the victory. Now, that's good and all if you just were to uh, sit around and do absolutely nothing, but you also get paid for damaging the enemy. What do you get paid for? Well, oh man, I can't see it. Uh, it is, I can tell you that if you're shooting a tank or target that's spotted by another person, you get uh, half times Y credits for every point of damage you do. Whereas I think, I would imagine that if it's all you, you just get one time. And of course, if you're the spotter and someone else is doing damage, then you're getting half time, or yeah, half times the experience that they're making. So, that means you're earning credits for every point of damage that you do, on top of any tanks that you've spotted, the damage that uh, people are doing to them. So. There we go. So, in addition to that, you do get paid for spotting. Just plain old spotting if no one hits it. I don't know the calculation for that one, but it certainly is not bad that if you just spot it, you do get paid for it. Nice work, team. What is that? Uh, he's in three. Oh, he's tracked, too. He's dead. Okay, let's move up. Let's just light up. We can go for the cap. So, for capping, though, I'm going to be all tabbed while I do read this. Uh, like I mentioned, you do get from a purse, and it's divided based on the amount of people capping and the amount of time spent in it. So all of that does add up. Every last thing you do. You could effectively sit around and do nothing and still get paid out. Or you can earn more 
by doing damage, spotting, capping, so on and so forth. Now, there's also awards you can earn. I'm not sure if those are factored in at all. Like in the previous battle, I earned Sharpshooter. That's for getting X number of hits out of Y shots. So, does that increase my credits earned or not? I don't know. If it does, it's so negligible that I can't really tell offhand. But I certainly wouldn't uh, scoff away from it if they wanted to give it to me. See, right there I got two kills, was part of the cap, and I got 24,000 credits. A lot more than if I were to just sit around. So, we're going to try and uh, farm out a little more. It's, it adds up over time. And of course, your daily doubles end up adding to that as well. So, if you do a premium and you win on your daily double, you're getting uh, more ex credits and experience than you would if you were to be playing without it. So, let's move on and see what we can do. Okay, let's so, some things that might be asked based off the... Uh, figures I mentioned earlier is, well, what's the difference between me sh killing this T-28 here and that, uh, Tiger, or, I thought it was Tiger, anyway, yeah, so, me killing a, you know, Tier 4 versus me killing a Tier 7 or 8, or at least hitting and damaging them, well, you get nothing less for hitting and destroying the lower tiers, but, as I mentioned, the variable Y. For every point of damage you do against a tier higher than you, you get uh, a tenth of uh, the experience or the credits you earn per damage as a bonus. So, in theory, if you're getting uh, hits on a higher tier, you're earning bonus based on the tier they are. So, if I'm only doing, you know, a slight bit of damage to a tier 6, whereas I'm a tier 5, then I'm getting a, a tenth more bonus on top of the damage I'm doing currently. So, totally worth it. Now, oh man. Ah, oh, ah, every time. I shouldn't have tried to snipe that one. So yeah, every point of damage is worth credits. So it always is beneficial to try and do damage, or at least shoot at the person. I mean, even, as you see, I have 460 hit points. If you're doing one point of damage, that's some amount of credits, which is better than uh, none. So we're going to try and nail this guy's loader. Like that. See, I love shooting those things. Shoot them in the loader and scares them. I don't know if I actually am hitting where the loader is, but... It'll, it'll run them off. So yeah, that, that is the best way to earn credits. Just general shooting, damaging, etc, etc. Now, you might say, well, Darkling, it, you still have to repay a bear bill, though. And yes. How does that get factored in? Well, ow. Higher tier tanks obviously are going to cost more than your lower tiers. Your heavies are going to cost more than your mediums. And the shells for, oh no, shells for your SPGs are going to cost more than the shells for like a 57mm uh, T-34. Oh no. So, as I get killed here, I'm going to, nuts. I should be zoomed in for this one. There we go. Ooh. That one didn't go through. No damage. Okay, so, I'll actually go more in-depth in a minute. No, I didn't damage the gun. I thought I would have been able to. So, next video will go more into that. 